Noxie, come here and taste this. Daddy's cooked the steak perfectly. With no help from no help from anybody. <laughs> How's that? Yeah. Amazing. That tastes so good. Yeah. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So with Stay Classy Meats, one of the things we offer in the box is bison. This is something that can be intimidating for people to cook. So David here is going to show Josh the best way to go about preparing a bison ribeye so you can enjoy it at home, learn from us. What the proper procedure to do is to get your surface as dry as possible because it'll help cook it better on your cast iron. I am liberal with the salt only because I wouldn't be afraid of it just because you have this much thickness to get through it. So um, it's basically on you and what you think is what amount of salt you want. This is going to create a layer of flavor for you. All right, all right. I like salt. Pepper too, or should I yeah. flip it into the salt? Ooh, Same. pepper too, bro. Okay. And that bad boy's ready to go on. It's hot for you. So we don't want to do both sides, just one side? You're going to do one side, and then we can actually season it. In the pan? In the pan. And so I wanted this to go. You're going to put this down. So this yeah. will be your presentation side. So now, you just, if you look at it in the light, this is, you'll be looking at this fat. You want it to see right there. That's kind of where you're looking at mid-rare. But don't let the fat fool you, because this is what you're looking at to get cooked, since it's a real life. Is it, do you, do you ba go based purely on look or time? I go on look, okay. but time, uh, I, I worked in kitchens, so I'm like, like how do You're I too smart, that? man. I'm not um, that smart. I got another pan over here, and you could be cooking your vegetables, so by the time this is actually ready to go, that your vegetables will be ready. We're gonna start with, these need to cook first because these are thicker, basically, so they'll take longer to cook. Then we'll add the mushrooms, it's got a minute. Got this is minute. Where, if we had a beer, we'd just crack open a beer and just like eat. But you're in season now, so. That's right. <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> but typically on bison, it'd be, for this cut, it's gonna be, let's say 10 minutes. A side? Yeah, okay. well, so you do or maybe five, five two and a half on this side, two and a half on that side, and then if you want, you can throw it in the oven. That'll just make sure that it's like to your mid-rare or like, called Midware Plus, okay. where it's not it's just like completely raw in the center. It's gotcha. Like, and so, how, what degrees would you put the oven on? So I always keep it at 350. Okay. Um, and that's gonna take about another two minutes. And then by that time, our vegetables will be already ready to go and show you how to plate that bad boy. Nice. But see, you, you can tell that this is cooking better because that fat now is starting to really like drain off. It already doubled in size right here. Yeah. And then you can season your salt and pepper on that side now. I go heavy, I'm heavy handed on the pepper, on the right. pepper. And the big thing is when you're cooking vegetables, you don't want to overcrowd your pan because if you overcrowd that, then you're, just, you're basically going to steam them and over steam them and then they're just going to be, like you know when they're soggy, mm -hmm. just like, it's just, there's no bite to them. There's right. no, yeah, so that's what we're trying to avoid with this. So that's why we'll just let those chill out for a minute. Okay. Um, you can check this, you can check your sides, basically you're going to, Oh yeah, look oh, at that. All right, you can flip that, that's all you bro. That's your thing. Here it is. That's, I mean. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> I mean, bro. Yeah, that's looking good right there. <laughs> you want, you can throw the onions in there too. Onions? Yeah, all right, all right. I'm not a big mushroom fan, but for some reason with steak. Steak and mushrooms, it goes together. Yeah. Like lamb and tuna fish. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> What? If anybody names that quote, if anybody can quote that movie. Big Lebowski? Nope. No. It goes together like lamb and tuna fish. What, do you prefer a spaghetti and meatball? Does that be a better analogy? Uh, uh, it's an Adam Sandler movie. Yep. Which is the only movie Rob Snyder's in. It's an easy guess. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, Big Daddy. There it is. There it is. So basically now, I'll let you do it, brother. All right. You're just going to take that butter, just garlic and thyme, and just throw it in there. Put that on top. Put it on top. All right. That's why you don't put the Right. Then throw that butter in there. On top or? Uh, in, the, in the oil. In the oil. Now we're gonna turn it up. And then tilt the pan down and use this spoon to coat your steak with the butter. Oh. Just coat it all over there. Just keep going. Don't, don't even be polite with it. Be just rude. Just be just rude. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
and tilt it a little bit lower because you want to get all that butter. You just want to keep spooning it. All that foam and that brown butter now. Oh man, dude. Okay. <laughs> this looks That's amazing. Just do it a few more times and you can say steak on top of the spoon and then it'll be ready to go. Just gonna I want to take the rest. I don't want I don't want it to get overcooked by just sitting in its juices. It kind of just adds a weird funky flavor to it. You don't want that. But now with this butter, this the garlic, and the thyme, you're just adding extra flavor already to your steak. Yeah, so then now take your spoon and just kind of like sit it on top of the plate. Oh man. Grab it when you get those big old steaks, they, they cook down, and they shrivel up. And you mm -hmm. want to let it rest and expand back and really like take in all those juices again. Okay. So now you're going to take this butter and drop it in there wow. with all those vegetables. Bro. This is getting just nasty. Right, you don't want your heat too high on, on the vegetables. Grab another thing at time. Mm -hmm. Just throw that bad boy in here. It's all these veggies. And all that is is just, you know, just taste a little bit of herb flavor yeah. on those veggies. So it won't just taste like butter. Right. It's going to coat your mouth. And Nothing wrong with butter. If you don't like butter, you're not really American. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, well. That lady on my shoe. Just keep, uh, just keep dropping back. No, no, you gotta on. hit it off Frankenstein's fat foot. You got one there? Play it as it lies, boys. You, is that enough vegetables for you? Yeah, that's, that's, that's good for me, yeah. All right. There you have it, brother. Steak and vegetables, man. Bro. That steak is ready to go. That's gonna, get, um, that's gonna happen. I mean, the butcher's nice. <laughs> I'll take that. Yes. All right. This hipster counter. <laughs> Whose is this? Oh, let's we'll see what we got. Oh, my goodness. Bro. Man, man. Be pretty good. <laughs> oh, oh, buddy. Oh my gosh. Buddy. I think we nailed it. <laughs> All right. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's absurd. That is so right. good. Now you know how to do that. Now it's no longer just a grill, bro. Oh, man. I mean, I'm talking like this from now on. Oh my damn one. That's pretty much perfect, bro. That's thick house. Yeah. That is amazing. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, that is. That's so good. So there. <laughs> Back to yeah. you. Cooking yeah. 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 That's cooking perfect bison. Thank you guys. Yeah. Steak bison meats for providing the best meat we can get. Great, so pumped.